Hi. In this video, I am going to explain you about all the process in Classpro. First, the basic and important thing in Classpro is academic year, standard, and subject. To check that, click on settings, click on organization. You will find option called academic year. So you can add academic year as per your requirement. As of now, I have academic year, so I am just creating one old academic year. So this one I have created. If I want to make it default, just click on the three dot and mark as current. So this will become your default academic year. Now to create standard and subject, you have to click on standard. Click on new standard. I am entering here one standard name. I am entering some subjects of this standard. You can add extra subjects also by clicking on add another. I am clicking on save. Now after this you have to create course. For that click on courses. Again click on courses. Click on new course. Enter the standard name. This is a course I am creating for standard 10th. I have the subject of standard 10th. I will select that subject only. Mention the course fees amount. Click on save. So I have created course as per the standard. Next, create batch by clicking on batches. Click on new batch. This batch is for class. This batch is for 10 standard. And I am mentioning academic year also for my reference. Now select the subjects as for the standard. Now click on save. There is no student in this batch. I have to add students also. Click on students. Click on new student. So here you have to fill the data whichever you required for your contact details purpose. By default the mandatory field is name and gender. So I am entering one name here, gender, you can enter other things also like mobile number, email id, click on save, now here you have to add guardian details. You can enter other details like mobile number, email id, occupation and all. Guardian details is optional, it is not mandatory. I am clicking on save. I have added one guardian here. Click on next. Now you have to enter admission details. So here the admission date is 4th March, today's date. Academic year will be by default, whatever academic year you will see here. You can change the academic year also as per your requirement. Select the course. I have created this course, 10 standard. And this is the amount. If you want to give any discount, just enter the discount amount. Or else if you want to give discount as per some percentage, then click on this flat. Click on percentage. And mention that how much uh, percentage you want to provide discount. I am not entering any discount right now here in this admission. Click on save. Now you will get option of payment. If you want to make complete payment of this student, once you receive the full amount, click on pay and you can enter the amount. The amount by default, this will take the whole amount. 
you can mention the payment method and save but if you want to create any installment in that case let me show you how you can do it so first i am deleting this entry now for the unpaid there is one option called reconfigure installment to create installment reconfigure installment okay now this, how much this student is paying mention the amount how much this student is paying so the remaining is 10000 again the mode of payment you can select what is the number of installment you are going to offer this student so that student is saying okay in two installment is going to pay click on preview installment so as you can see in the duration of one month from the admission date the installment has been created check this installment preview and see you see here paid unpaid amount now if you click on print you will get page receipt like this now click on next now add this student in batch click on add batch select the batch which you have created so this is the subject by default it is coming and click on add now if you will get go to batch you will find that student in that batch Now let me show you how inquiry option works. Click on inquiry, click on leads, click on new lead. So whenever you are getting any lead, that time you have to update that lead details here. I am entering here lead name, gender and other fields are optional like mobile number, landline, everything is optional. So right now I am just uh, entering name and gender and save guardian details is also not mandatory but you can skip this if you want to add this then click on new guardian and add i am not adding any guardian details for leads click on next now click on next add inquiry details select the course for which the student has inquired for and then select the source how this student came to know about your classes i'm selecting a walk-in and save so i have added inquiry here if you want to see all the inquiries then click on inquiry and then inquiry so you will find your inquiry details like this click on that student name and status you have to change the status as per the process like if the student is not going to join then click on not join and mention the last reason and save but if in case this student is going to join in that case you have to click on join mention the join date and save now this will take you to the admission details page just verify all the details and click on save now you want to make the payment of the student click on pay and click on save this way you are just going to make the full payment of the student click on next and add the student in batch select the batch and add this i have added one student from inquiry if i go to inquiry and inquiry i'll able to see the student has joined in inquiry you can mention the notes if you want to create any task you can create task mention the date and timing and save so task has been created now if you want to check your follow-ups then click on inquiry and click on follow-ups so as you can see here this follow-up is showing here once you click on this box the task will be completed now if you want to mention any note you can mention the note as well as if you want to create another task for this same student then click on uh, this option and enter the comment and set the date 
timing and save now to create lecture first we need one faculty so you can add users and faculty from settings to add user click on user click on new user enter the email id of the user set role if you if you have multiple branch then uh, you just have to decide for which branch or for both of branch or all of branch you want to assign this user then send an invite now the user will receive an email in that they have to click on the invitation link and they have to set their name and password that way they will be able to log in their class profile now to add faculty click on settings click on faculties click on new faculty enter the name select the gender other details are optional if you want to fill and if you have multiple branches then this way it will be visible but if you want to give permission only for one branch then you can remove another branch name and click on save so i have created faculty now if i go to settings and i go to faculties i will able to see the faculty name now to create lecture click on lectures all lectures add lecture select the batch name select the subject you can change the name if you want to change any name then click on save to create single day schedule click on add single schedule select the date select the timing select the end timing select the faculty if you have topic then that will come in a drop down but if you want to add any topic click on this add and save now i have added one topic click on save this schedule i have created now if i want to create multiple day schedule click on add multiple schedule select the faculty select the start date end date if you want to apply same time for all the schedules and click on this i'm just applying all same time select the days for which days you want to create this schedules and save as you can see here now our schedule has been created now to mark attendance you have to click on lectures click on schedules now to mark attendance you have to click on lectures click on schedules you will able to the, see the schedule name click on the schedule name scroll down and click on if you want to mark absent anyone then uh, click on this box so the student will be marked absent and click on see this way you can mark attendance to share any assignment click on assignments click on new assignment fill all the details like assignment start date submission date batch name subject and all so let me just create one assignment the academy care it is showing assignment name start date end date batch name subjects select the topic select faculty name if you have any attachment 
select that attachment if you want to mention any note you can mention the note and click on save after getting a assignment from the student click on assignment you have to open your due assignment click on submission mark this as submitted and save this way you can share assignments so this way you can update assignments now in exams you can enter your test details like you can enter a single type test or multiple type means multiple subject you just have to enter the test name select the batch select the subject so the subject comes as to the batch select subject select the topic if you know the topic if it is coming in drop down if you want to add you can add any topic select the date select start time end time select passing marks select total marks and save now to mark attendance first you have to mark attendance for this exam click on mark attendance I'm not marking absent anyone. If you want to mark absent, then you have to click like this. Click on save. Enter the marks. And save. This way you can create exams. Now expenses are very simple. You just have to click on expenses then add the expenses details means whatever expense you are doing you have to mention the description amount mode of payment category in category also you can add category and if you want to mention vendor vendor name you can add vendor also and then you if you want to attach any receipt you can attach a receipt also and save if you want report of any of this activity click on reports you will find admission report fees report inquiry report faculty report batch report expenses report and biometric report so these all reports are available in class form for any more information you can contact our support team thank you